My name is Ezra Nokiki, Nakuru Town West resident and aspiring leader Nakuru Town West constituency. Uh, there are issues that I had talked previously about and today I want exclusively talk about the leadership of Nakuru Town West. Nakuru Town West was initiated in 2013 from the former Nakuru Town constituency. It was brought in 2013 and when it was brought the minority tribes felt that because Nakuru County had 11 constituencies they also felt that they were also to be represented in Nakuru Town West constituencies. That is why uh, Aramon was elected in 2013 as MP to represent minority tribes. But on the minority tribes, Nakuru Town West is a cosmopolitan and therefore we cannot only talk of minority tribes. We are talking of all the residents of Nakuru Town West. And uh, when the constituencies was the constituency was brought, we were able to actually understand what the leadership is all about. And when Nakuru Town West was brought, the government felt that it was not with all what it was required to be full fledged constituency. And therefore, the government lobbied for projects that would make Nakuru Town West match other constituencies. And in, this, in that line, they brought the aspect of uh, World Bank projects. The government also brought the issue of resources that was to enable it grow like other constituencies. And number three, uh, county and the constituency aspect was also put into consideration. And uh, therefore, the reason as to why Nakuru Town West has come up strongly is because the government had a hand to make, ensure that it was like any other constituency. Uh, today, we have had issues in Nakuru Town West, and today I want to address purely the leadership of Nakuru Town West. The current MP, Samuel Arama, has been there, this is now the third term. And within, within the third term, we have had issues that we will still address on another forum in terms of uh, projects of Nakuru Town West and the allocations that were done to them. But we will talk on another forum. I have been a proponent and advocate of transparency and accountability in Nakuru Town West. And therefore, when I talk, I talk of things that I am very conversant with and I know what I'm saying. My major aim is to protect the, 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 the what do you call it? My major aim is to protect the rights of a common man in terms of allocations that is meant to empower them and to better their lives. And therefore, when I talk, I talk in regards to the pleas of the common man. Oh, in Nakuru Town West, this is now the third term. And I've said we have gray years that we must address. I am moved by the statement of Mweshimiwa Ram that he says I'll not be able to take the responsibility of leadership of Nakuru Town West. And number two, if I have to take, he will ensure he will campaign against me. He also said that I've never contested. My contestation was put to a halt because I respected because I respected the issue of the party which is ODM. I'm a member of ODM and when ODM requested that I leave that particular leadership to Museo Chalky, 
I respected the party. And that went like it went. So, Arama, you were very honest and clear that I've never been into ballot with you. But I'm telling you, in 2027, the party has now chosen to give me what we call the certificate of ODA. So, you are going to Nyamira has nothing to do with the Nakum Town West. Once one has given up that is going to Nyamira, what again is your interest of Nakuru Town West? The whole of last year, Arama spent his fortitude and time in Nyamira, leaving Nakuru Town West as orphans. Even the resources that was meant to empower Nakuru Town West in terms of uh, bursaries and other things were not seen, seen despite the fact that Nakuru Town West received a whooping 170 million. So Nakuru Town West has suffered. And number two, the issue that Arama clings on is the bursary. I want to tell Arama that don't take advantage of the ignorance of people. Bursary is a right. It is not an MP's mass to use it as a tool to campaign. Simply because we are in a digital world where bursary should be distributed in an organized manner. You have no moral authority to parade parents from morning to evening in the name of the bursary by allowing scorching sun to disturb our parents. Once the documentation is there, it is only to channel the funds to the school, various schools, not subjecting our parents to scorching sun so that you get a mileage over that. Bursary is given all over. And the other time I talked of bursary being given only from one to term one. When I raised the issue, he has now decided to give form one, form two, form three, form four. It therefore means there was something sinister because previously it was only form one. When I raised the issue, he is now talking of form, for, form two, form three, form four. Where has been the other money for form one, form two, form three, and form four? Now we are saying this. We are not going to allow Arama to bring his touch to Nakuru Town West. Nakuru Town West is decided by electorates and we are now seeing Arama wanting to sway people so that they can consider whoever he wants to bring because him, he has declared that he's going to Nyamira. Once he has said he's going to Nyamira, what is his interest again? What is Arama's interest in Nakuru that he's now looking for a stooge who can give him a soft landing? It therefore means that he wants to even run Nakuru Town West while he's in Nyamira. That is why he's looking for people whom he can manipulate, people whom he can use to advance his interest even if he's in Nyamira. We are saying this and I'm telling Arama, Arama, take it from me today that it is electorates who are going to decide whoever becomes MP Nakuru Town West. And it is good, you said that I've never contested. In 2027, ODM is giving me certificate. I have a good rapport with the constituents of Nakuru Town West. And uh, in 2027, it is a guarantee that the MP of Nakuru Town West will be General Okiki. The other thing, as a leader, which I'm also aspiring to be, leadership calls for some respect. Me, as Okiki, I have helped many people, but I don't de 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 declare it open. When someone comes for help, you don't need to parade this person to show that this person has a problem. One come in a secrecy to help him to, to, to get help, then you go parade him, even if one drinks tea from your home, he's paraded. Hey, hey, Leo, today this person has taken tea from my home. Is that how you help people? Personally, I have helped many. Even this form one you are talking about. Over 10 parents came to me because they were not able to get mattresses. I bought 
10 mattresses at a cost of 25,000, but I did not parade this parent. So when you are helping somebody, help him with a clean heart, but do not use that opportunity to parade these people so that you get a mileage over that. I have done a lot, even in Nakuru Town West. No one can say he has never tasted any of my sweat. But I don't, I don't normally parade them. This aspect of parading people because you have helped him or her must come to a halt. We know, don't take advantage of the situation of people to gain mileage. And I'm saying this, the residents of Nakuru Town West, enough is enough. This is your money. CDF is your money. CDF is meant to empower you. We have youth fund, we have women fund, we have several funds that is meant to empower you. But we are saying this, you must now open your eyes because a new dawn is coming in Nakuru Town West with the leadership of General Okiki. Come hell or high waters, we must bring change to Nakuru Town West. But I am still pleading with people that what is, what is meant to you should be yours. You don't have to be shown mercy over your property. And therefore, we are requesting that uh, from now henceforth, we only want to forensic audit to be done on Nakuru Town West. And I have said clearly that there are things that I have in possession that I'll use legal means to ensure that Nakuru Town West constituency gets its rightful ownership of what it is belong to them. That is my plea and therefore uh, I may not have much to say. As an MP we have had problems like you have seen the war memorial and what have you, which is in our courts today. But as a leader, let us not just sing because we are singing. Leadership calls for the lives of the ordinary man and the hospital takes care of the lives of ordinary man. So let us not follow the leaders blindly. Let us represent our people so that they can also have good life, not following leaders. Thank you very much. I may not have much to say, but next time there will be a lot still. This is just the beginning. Thank you very much.